What's up, everybody? Back today with a overview of uh, multi-tool. It's the Victorinox Swiss tool. Uh, I picked this up about a year ago and just decided I'd do a vid on it. It comes with a nylon pouch here. Uh, snap closure. Victorinox there. Uh, I think the, the pouch is made in China. But uh, don't quote me on that. Anywho, let's get to the fun part of this. It's, Here's your Swiss tool. We've got Victorinox engraving on there with the shield. On one side you got centimeters, on the other side you got inches. It's a, uh, what is it, a nine inch ruler. So you can open her up like this. And you got your nine inch ruler. And the pliers with a wire cutter and I think a crimper also. It's got little notches in there for you can see them there anywho uh, these, these this is awesome set of pliers I really love these it's nice and strong it doesn't give when you're squeezing on it really turn some bolts with it and the difference between a Swiss tool and like let's say a Leatherman or any other multi-tool uh, even your nice your higher end ones like Leatherman or uh, who else makes some good ones? Maybe maybe a Gerber or something. I don't know. Uh, all the tools are in the inside where you got to open up the thing to uh, get to the tools. And with Torinox, what I love on, on their multi tools, what they do is they make it like kind of like a pocket knife where everything is accessible, just right there. Everything and they all lock. Here's your locks here. They go down and. Yeah, voila. All right, we'll start with the something simple here. Maybe if I can get it out here. Jeez. Here's the main blade. It's got the Victorinox, Victorinox stamp on it. If we can see that. Get the focus going here. Yeah, there we go. And there's a Victorinox stamp on the main, uh, the base of the blade there. And like I said, everything's locking, so you're completely safe there, unless you're a dummy and you cut yourself. Main blade, and we've got large flathead screwdriver. This is the tool that gets used the most, uh, I'll admit, is the flathead for prying and, uh, you know, flatheads. Duh. And then the next tool is a chisel with what looks like wire stripper blades and I, I think I actually have used those uh, those are razor sharp so is the uh, the chisel there next up it's the same one I just had out I just cut my nails sorry it's a little hard to get out here next up a smaller flat head and if you have a Swiss Army knife you're familiar with that tool it's, it's your uh, cap lifter that's on your Swiss Army knives. It's just the same thing. Cap lifter with wire stripper and flathead screwdriver. Uh, next up is going to be the can opener. That's the same as like on a uh, regular Victorinox Swiss Army knife. It's a can opener. Awesome can opener too. Oh yeah, sorry. It's got a flat head slash Phillips uh, smaller head on the top there. I love how Victorinox does that. And next up we got the wood saw which it's junk in it yeah for me using it. A wood saw. Excellent wood saw. Sharp as hell. Zip right through some wood with it. The kids are playing over here sorry. Uh, on the other side you've got a serrated blade Check out those those serrations. Yeah. Giggity. Why this thing won't focus is killing me. Anywho. You got the Victorinox stamp on the on the base of the blade, just like the main blade. Uh, next tool is the uh, this is your reamer, awl, or whatever you want to call it. It's it's a little drill. You can drill holes in plastic, wood, or leather. It's a leather punch. 
Next up is your Phillips head, screwdriver, and after that we've got a tiny little screwdriver, little flat head. I don't know why it's not focusing. Sorry about that. Jeez. Yeah, there we go. You can see. A little flat head. And then after that you've got your metal file. Slash metal saw. It's got some good teeth on it. I've cut through some screws with it. So it's uh it's pretty good. One side softer than the other. Like this side maybe more like a nail file, and this more like a metal file. It's much more much rougher. And I think that may be it. Let's see, did we look at all these? Yeah, we did. Uh, this this hole here is for the corkscrew that does not come with it. It's on both sides. Uh, you got to get that separately, or if you spend more money on a package deal. Look at those kids over there. Come on. Hey, kids. I'm trying to shoot a video here. Sorry about them if you can hear them too much. Uh, but that's... That may be about it. Snap closure on the case there. Belt loop. No rattle. And whenever I can, I carry this sucker on me uh, if I'm wearing a belt. Which is something I honestly think is kind of stupid that it has to be a belt loop. And you can't get a clip on there to where I can clip it onto my gym shorts. Or some crap, you know. It may do that just because of how heavy it is. You may not want it on something light like gym shorts, but yeah. I think that's all I've got for us today. Uh, as usual, be safe, and until next time.